for this building I explained it has some multifamily in it as well starting on the second floor so we're going to have in this one we're going to have some kind of a meter center to attach the residential units to um, so I want to show you what I have for that I've got a couple things set up for that over here on the left in our browser under electrical equipment if you expand that out where the transformers and panels are down here I have residential meter stack residential meter stack main now these are kind of um, sized physically to look like the main um, oh, I guess it's kind of a terminal cabinet or it can be it can be a breaker where you would come in to feed a residential meter stack so you can use that drag that over and it's already sized for a typical uh, meter stack entry point and turn it around and put it right there in the middle and this is where you would treat it like a switchboard where you're going to over here give it a panel name so I might call this meter center oops, meter center one enter apply and so now I have let me tag it without a leader meter center one and then if I want to show it larger I can drag some of these other residential meter stack pieces over and they're just the smaller space space to turn it around they're the smaller pieces that actually have the stack of four or five meters and you can show these here just kind of the show a placeholder of how big this thing gets escape so and that one disappeared where'd he go create similar we do it again and rotate it rather than delete it but right there okay something like that if you want to try to show how big that guy is the alternative to using this this meter stack is you can just bring over another switchboard and let's say I you know have a 1200 amp meter center you can bring that over and just create a large switchboard sized unit here and give it a name um, so I just want to show you that's kind of how I do that and later on when we circuit things you'll see how that works we're only going to circuit to this center piece um, let me say another thing this one has a good opportunity to show you how I'm dealing with future uh, retail space for example or a future tenant um, you know, in, in CAD world with Excel s spreadsheets, we would put in a placeholder for future load, things like that. Well, we don't have that spreadsheet here. We just have um, switchboards, panel schedules. So what I've decided to do here is I will treat this retail space as an equipment connection. So I will go back to close the equipment itself and go to electrical fixtures. Go down to my MFIA equipment connection over here and drag in the generic. And what I will do is just put an equipment connection in here, escape out of there. Let's get rid of the disconnect and fused. There. And what I will do is edit type and duplicate this and just call it like an equipment connection call it retail retail space it's yet another connection that i can apply a load to that will show up in my switchboard as a load to reserve space for that future load um, this is at one this is going to be a 208 three phase and and let's see what do we want to call this um, you can call it other and I might just do that it'd be nice if we had one called something like future or something like that see here's one for an existing load and that's that's a good point to bring up you can use this and an equipment connection if you want to show an existing load for a remodel and now remodel is a whole nother you know whole other ball game in Revit, which I will show in a future video. But it gives you an idea that if you need to account for some kind of existing load that you want to connect, you can just put an equipment connection, call it existing load, give it a load, and it will connect to a switchboard as an existing load. 
So this is how I do that. Let's keep it with other for now. And 203 phase and um, for load, you know, that's always debatable. What is it, a restaurant or just a, a coffee shop or whatever? Again, you can use the room tag area to see it's 1,054 square feet. Okay. So 1,054 square feet. Let us edit this then. And in the load, you can actually use formulas. You can type in equals 1,054 times, it's kind of like a spreadsheet, like Excel, times, let's go with um, 20 watts a square foot. There. There's our estimated load for that retail at 20 watts per square foot. We do not want this to show up on an equipment schedule, so delete that tag. Enter. Um, we will call this, I don't, you know, it's not going to show up in the schedule, so it doesn't matter what we call it. Hit enter. And the type mark we will call future retail. Okay. Now we can tag it if we want, just so that people don't wonder what is this stray symbol here. Tag it with a leader. Future retail. And I'll just tag it like that. So now I have a equipment connection called retail space or future retail that I can connect over here to a panel and circuit eventually. And it will account for that load.